my name is Casey Minnie. I'm a student at EDM 310 at the University of South Alabama. And today I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've learned and um, what I haven't learned and things that I might take from EDM 310. Some things that I've learned, I think that it has really expounded my knowledge of different things with technology. I consider myself really technologically inclined before I even took the class, but something that I really learned how to do that I found um, useful for me was doing the clickable links where we had to put in the code and we can make a clickable link to go to another page. I think that's going to really come in handy with, with what I do and, and things like that. And some other stuff that I learned was how to make the videos and how to edit videos even with something, even with the free downloads such as the Windows Live Media Ma Movie Maker. Um, I know it's not as high tech as having um, the iMovie from the Mac or or whatever, but it still gets the job done. And I find as a worship leader at my church that I've been able to use this. We can have lyric videos and stuff like this. And I actually even come up with our um, very first leadership video with with the ones the my the, the my sentence um, the one sentence thing that we done at the beginning of the semester. And I really feel like taking things from this class is really going to help me not only with my ministry but also with teaching. I hope that one day that. Um, when I'm teaching that I can use the one sentence, my sentence video with my class to see what they want, like at the beginning of the school year, for what they want to learn throughout the school year, what they what they expect to learn throughout the school year with one sentence, and then later on in the school year, towards the end, do it again and have them use in one sentence and see if the sentences are the same, or use it as, as a comparison or a reflection for the students. I think that would be a really good idea to use with my students. Um, Something that I'm probably not going to, to take with me would probably be the blog, the, the weekly blog. I really, I, I enjoyed it as, and I enjoy writing, but I think that with my schedule, with school and stuff right now as a college student, I wouldn't be able to keep up my blog on a weekly basis or even an everyday basis as you see some other teachers doing that we commented on throughout the, the school year. I don't want to be one of the teachers who um, have a blog, but they don't update it very often. And, end up being in a C4T for somebody and not being able to respond. But hopefully after I graduate college and I get my own class, then I'll be able to form my own class blog. I think the class blog was a really good idea that I want to take from this experience and have when I was begin teaching myself. Um, for the class blog, I want to set it up to the where um, I'll have my assignments posted and and the students can go on there and post their, their projects and stuff like this so other people can see what's going on in the classroom. I really find that that's going to help, I think, my students in a way that other students would have never thought that, you know, they could have learned or, and teachers might even get ideas from that. Um, something else that I might want to do is for my students, I know when I was in school um, in fifth grade, my teacher, she had us do plays and stuff for the other classes. I think something that would be really cool to incorporate the, ed the video editing would be um, the fact that I can have my students do plays for like a creative arts kind of thing on a certain topic and record it and instead of other classes coming to our classroom, we can send it to the other classrooms to allow the, the, the students to watch as like a, a short movie or something like that. And I think having the students help with the editing and stuff like that would be a really good experience for them. And also, with yeah, I really want to teach fifth graders, so I know that a lot of schools have fifth grade graduations. And I think that something that would be really good is incorporating, again, the movie aspect and having them have a reflection of their year being there with their song that they would have. Every graduating class has a, a song. So, especially in high school and, and, mid, and middle school and stuff like that. But having the students pick a song for the year, you know, that they feel is, is them and um, have them incorporate this into a reflection video full of pictures and um, goodbyes to their teachers and stuff like this. I think that would be really good as a reflection video for them as well as doing reflection videos and stuff for myself at the end. So these are just some things that I've learned and have taken from this class and I really feel like this class is very good and expounds and helps teachers, you know, build more on the te technology aspect um, of this. Something that I would have liked to have seen would have been um, an Excel project. Um, I know that we had a blog post that we were supposed to have done about something, but I really feel like an, an Excel project for where students go on field trips and teachers have to um, 
organize this stuff. I think an Excel project would be good for, for us as students to have to do and to make sure that we know how to do it because I know a lot of people haven't used Excel since high school. And so having them do like a field trip balancing um, project I think would be something good that's something that I would have liked to have done to make sure that I knew exactly how to use Excel. I know I haven't used Excel since 10th grade, so that was like six or seven years ago. So that's just something that I would have liked to have seen and taken that I didn't learn about. But other than that, I really enjoyed um, Dr. Strange's EDM 310 class.